Oh hey there, and welcome to episode 5 of American Arcadia. Let's do this. A wonderful tomorrow to live in. A wonderful tomorrow to live in. Indeed. So this is old Arcadia? Arcadia? What? What is this? This is like the original Elijah Walton Arcadia. Angela? Hey! I, I, I'm, I'm here, do you hear me? Oh, God, finally! It's so good to hear your voice! Where am I? Is this the first prototype of Arcadia? Yeah, this was what Walton and Kovacs had in mind. But then Don and the board of directors took over, and they turned Elijah's dream into this American nightmare where being unpopular is punished with death. Okay, we still don't know that for sure. I mean, they, they could have been fabricating uh, Gus's image somehow. Uh, we have that technology today, but we don't know for sure that that's exactly what was happening. Yeah, somebody's lying to us. I don't know if it's number six or if it's Vivian or Vivian is somehow number six. That would be crazy. I'm only saying that now just in case it happens and I, I want you to know that, got that info, but I was thinking it nobody has been killed beforehand. What, what are you talking about? Gus is not dead. Vivian showed him to me. But, I saw him. I... Well, what exactly did you see? Besides Gus leaving with two security guards. I, I don't know. Forget it. Okay, let's just focus on getting you out of here. Told ya. I don't think there is a way out of here, Angela. I'm afraid I'm trapped in here. No, Come on, that's no, quitter no, 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 talk. No, no, no. Remove? You mean, you mean like brainwashing me? No, 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 not at all. Well, it sounds pretty similar to what Vivian wanted to do with me, with that realignment thing. I know, I know, but we know what we're doing. Trust me. Yeah, no offense, Angela, but considering how things went last time, it's not easy for me to just blindly trust in your plans. And anyway, even if you magically reprogram me without leaving me brain damaged. I've already crossed the jingle area before, and it didn't work out. How am I going to get out of the dome anyway? Maybe I can help with that. Wait, who is this? Number six? Are you okay? Yes, Kovacs. I touched in a couple of minutes ago and heard your conversation. Sorry for the indiscretion, but I had to interrupt. My name is number six. I'm the leader of Breakout, the activist group Kovacs works for. Okay, nice to meet you. Yeah, this looks like the water tower. How do I get up there? Oh, this is probably movable. Haha! -ha! Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Fool me thrice. Yeah. Uh, looks yeah, like it. There's an abandoned car there. It looks rusty now, though. Arcadia is a gilded cage. And we know it. Arcadia is a gilded cage, and we know it. Okay, so number six is not Dolores or Sid.
Yeah, but they have two of those jingle emitters on each side. Yeah, that makes sense. They were not there when we got out. Something still feels fishy about this. I figured it would just stop at the bottom. This game. Uh, can I at least have some time to think about it? Architects of Tomorrow. Well, this is where Kovacs... The Arpad Kovacs, rather. Angela? Uh, you still there? Did his thing. Hey, yeah, I'm here. I think this is the Architects of Tomorrow TV set. That's the piano Kovacs always played at the end of every episode. Oh, really? It's still there? It was my favorite part. That's what got me into music. You mind if I... No, no, go ahead. Nobody can hear you here. Well, except for Angela in number six. Well, he's a lot better than I am on the piano. Kind of jazzy. I like it. Yeah, if I was in his shoes, I would probably need to strum out some music and just let the stress out. Could you imagine getting to play piano on your hero's piano? That, that would be pretty cool. Hmm. And he looks so sad. Still have to give it a name. Wait, you wrote this? that? It, it's yours? Yeah, it's mine. I didn't know you were so talented, Trevor. Have you ever thought of becoming a professional musician? No, I like to keep that to myself. You know, maybe my life wasn't good American Arcadia material, but it was quiet and peaceful. I know I'm not the most interesting guy on the planet, but I've never hurt anyone, and I don't deserve all the crap that I'm going through. I know, Trevor. And for what it's worth, I have to say that you may not be the most interesting guy on the planet, but you're a good person, and I like you. And I'm sure a quiet and peaceful life is waiting for you out there. Maybe you'll have to shut that grandpa get up and throw on something a little bit more up to date, but other than that, you'll be fine. Okay. 
Okay. Let's do this. We will be extremely careful. I swear it. Yeah, 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 sure. Just do it before I change my mind. At that mm. moment, I realized how fond I had grown of that old fuddy-duddy mustache-wearing average show. I wasn't doing this because of the Walton Media breakout war anymore. I just wanted to get my friend out of that city once and for all. That was really moving, Kovacs. Thank you. It was critical to convince such a valuable asset like Trevor. To... Uh, I haven't said anything to convince him. I just said what I feel. And please, don't call him an asset. Trevor's not an asset, okay? I understand. I apologize. It's all right. What do we do now? You must get inside the realignment area and find any relevant information that allows us to comprehend how the jingle works. Okay then, let's do this. I just, uh, I just still can't shake that something super fishy is going on. Like, all is not what it seems. Ooh, an elevator. Okay. I really hope your plan works, number six. Still not 100% convinced. Remember, we are at this point thanks to your courage and boldness. You got us to the hexagon. I know, I know, but just in case, let's make sure we don't get out of hand with the boldness. <laughs> Sure that our citizens never hey, what is this? We the four steps of the realignment jingle? Other than living a happy life in Arcadia. Uh, their only aspiration must be routine. Don't get me wrong, our citizens will be interesting. Uh, celebrities, athletes, musicians. But always local celebrities, local athletes and local musicians, things like that. Even so, there will always be those who, driven by mere curiosity and, and irrational impulse or just plain and simple stupidity, will do something that might bring them close to the dome's edge. We are saving an ace up our sleeve for that situation. Any violation of the Burbank Act will result in the absolute suppression of all means of self-control of that particular individual. Hmm? That feeling of well-being will turn into almost complete incapacitation. If that measure isn't enough, they must perceive the outside world as a hostile, harsh, and unwelcoming environment, even threatening. To keep citizens from wanting to leave, we will have to reinforce each and every one of their fears. Arcadia means safety. The world outside means danger. But we have to give them the illusion of freedom. Otherwise, we will face another breakout. Uh, and the only way to achieve this requires a complete distortion in their perception of freedom. They will not long for it, because Arcadia will be the only place where they can feel really free. Wow. This is crazy. To ensure that our citizens their only never aspiration leave, must be routine. Need them to their only aspiration must be routine. The absolute life suppression in of all means of uh, self-control. Aspiration must be routine. Uh, don't get me wrong, our We need to strengthen each and every fear. Athletes, musicians. This requires a total distortion in their perception of freedom. And local musicians, things like that. Even so, well, there will always Jesus. be those who... This shit is Orwellian. Yep. And disgusting. You said it, Angela. Walton was a really sick man. I wonder what this panel does. It's hexagon level. Do not activate it. It is not safe to take any unnecessary risks, Kovacs. 
What if there's a security measure in place? And why doesn't Rick? Why doesn't num number six want me to see this? I still wonder what this might be for. We should focus on finding useful information to help Trevor instead. Uh huh. Uh huh. You want to help Trevor? There must be a reason why this is here, right? We do not know what that panel does, Kovax. Leave it. Looks like every brand in the world has a spot here. What do you mean? Well, their logos are everywhere. Car brands, computer manufacturers. Something, something's back here that number six doesn't want me to see. Huh. Staccato. Rush. Motors. What is this? Hmm. What do we have here? This machine seems to require a subject ID code to work. Kovacs, set it to Trevor's. 10-392. Hmm. There are some branded logos in this machine. And they seem to be related to the jingle somehow. Are those... brainwaves? So this is what Trevor experiences every time he hears the jingle? Oh my god. That's how they tailor the preferences of Arcadia citizens and prepare everything that happens around them. Setting aside how ethically reprehensible this might be, this machine will tell us how Trevor's brain reacts to external stimuli. We should use it to our advantage, Kovax. Yeah. There's a QR reader in this machine, so I better find something to feed it. I really don't like this. I feel like I'm just playing into something terrible. An instrument manufacturer. I guess this might represent music. New Playing sponsor. piano strengthens Trevor's mastery and his sense of freedom. Okay. Huh. What do we got over here? Nice that they sent everybody home. I guess the lockdown was a good thing after all. Definitely. What does that say? Yeah, I can't read that. An Adenet dating service. Most citizens end up being matched with NPCs who provide them with exciting and generally completely fake love stories. Hmm. Adian affair. Uh, let's go this way. There are four kinds of effects. Aspiration, suppression, strengthening, and distortion. Huh. So aspiration, setting up a feeling as a life goal or objective. Suppression is removal or restriction of a specific feeling. Strengthen is reinforcing or introducing a specific feeling. And distortion, alteration or modification of a specific feeling. Huh. So they like tailor each citizen. I guess like uh, the different... So like for Trevor, like music is routine, I guess, and oh, it looks like fear. Oh, strengthen. Okay, so it's routine and strengthen. So I'm assuming that a different subject ID would have different reactions to each of the things. According to this, Trevor feels like a romantic relationship might turn his world upside down. He might not have any control of his life, and this scares him. Yep, that sounds like him. This machine works, no doubt about it. Oh, okay, I see the, the columns now. You have routine, control, fear, freedom up at the top. Okay, so I guess a straight line means that nothing is going on there. So routine is a distortion on romance on romance control is suppressed fear is strengthened and freedom isn't even there interesting but then the control and the freedom that he feels through music is strengthened so i wonder if they tailor every citizen to be a certain way or if that's just reading his brainwaves of like how he perceives Vivian's disco club 
No matter where I go, I keep seeing her. Even if this is evil and I don't have the full picture, uh, it is really this interesting. Is that awful line of workout videos and fitness meals. I think they sponsor Steve Just. Did I get all of the QR codes here? Let's see, Spectrex gaming system. Interesting. Looks ah. like a retro version of an SP Next joypad. They must hire the worst of the worst to work here. I mean, how could you live with yourself knowing what you're doing to people? Well, you work at American Arcadia. Ooh, okay, that was a low blow number six. Yikes. There are VHS tapes here with the label one. Huh. Yeah, I want to see... Okay, so before I do any more of this, I want to see what's up here. Okay. Doesn't really seem to be anything to click on. Okay. Oh. Hello. Pets palette. Huh. Realignment booth. This must be what Vivian told Trevor about. Anything that you might associate with Orpad Kovacs or the Viziorama? Absolutely. Uh, there are even some Viziorama goggles in here. Huh. Looks like this booth can be programmed to generate something entirely different. A, a customized jingle, if you will. I don't like that. Huh. Kovacs, I was thinking... That jingle generator you mentioned, it might come in handy. For what? I don't see a way to remove the jingle from Trevor using this thing. Maybe we cannot remove it, but we can induce the opposite message. You're talking about creating an anti-jingle? Apparently, I coined the term. But it was number six who laid out the whole thing. It sounded simple, convincing, and a good idea. First, we completely distort the vision of his routine. We show him how strange his ordinary life is by altering it. Next, we strengthen his sense of control. We reinforce his decision-making and provide him with resolution instead of suppressing it. After that, we remove Trevor's fear of the outside world. There would be nothing to stop him from getting out. And then we give him a new aspiration, total and complete freedom. Guess what, number six? That plan might not be a long shot after all. I still don't like it. I still don't like that. It doesn't sit well with me. Yeah, I don't like this. And what's behind these stupid screens back here? Huh? What's behind these metal doors? Number six. I have to activate it, number six. No, you do not. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to do it. Damn it, Angela. I told you not to mess with that. Ay, Dios bendito. They're breeding babies in here, number six. Those sons of bitches. They feed them that realignment jingle shit when they're born. It's like a clockwork orange, but with babies. This is terrible. It is inhuman. Those monsters. What in the world? Okay, well, those babies, I can't really do anything for them, so. A healthier life would make Trevor less scared of dying, but also more unhappy and less free. Social events really stress Trevor out, and they seem to turn his mood upside down. Trevor looks pretty skilled playing video games, but from the looks of it, he doesn't have a great time playing them anymore. I'm still missing two of them. Okay, so that's the anti-jingle that I'm looking at on the phone. Yeah, I have to distort routine, strengthen control, suppress fear, and make freedom his aspiration. Okay, well, what are the two that I'm missing? Rush motors. Rush motors. 
The guys who manufacture the perfect work of engineering, according to Trevor. And what was the other one? Uh, the uh, pet palette. Pet palette. Palettes in disguise. Okay, well, I see a pet palette thing here, but I don't see any QR codes nearby. Oh, there it is. Pet Hello, food. pet palette. From Labradors to Florida box turtles. Ah, uh, box turtles, like Kovacs. Trevor's pet turtle Kovacs is a pillar of everyday happiness for him. Driving makes Trevor feel in control, but also in need of some freedom. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, let's go look at that other screen again. Brainwave sequence. So let's look at love. Music. I can't get rid of them. What? Well, that did not seem to do anything at all. Okay, so I'm supposed to distort routine, strengthen control. Okay, so so love is distorted on the routine. So I could do love, music, um, pets, and the car. So love, music, pet, car. Love, music, pet, car. I think this might be it. Yes, yes, yes. Looks like I got it, number six, I got it. Now, what do we do next? The drive-in theater must be the place. And while he's looking at the adjustment screen through his visioroma goggles. We send the anti-jingle through the audio system and bam, Trevor is free of the jingle. Eh. Damn it. What is happening? Uh oh. Attention, all security personnel. Come immediately to realignment. There has been a security breach in the hexagon. Most attractive callbacks. You better get out of there now. Yep. Shit, shit, shit. I'm on it. So, in that moment, I realized that. I had to escape from a top-notch security building if I didn't want to spend my life in jail. Needless to say, I got the hell out of there as fast as I could. I was worried sick about Trevor, but number six was there with him, so what could go wrong? What could go wrong indeed? Trevor, this is number six. I will be here to help you through the whole deprogramming process. What? Why? Where's Angela? Kovacs had to go, but everything will be okay, I promise. Meanwhile, I will be in charge of this whole operation. Uh, okay. What do I do now? Move forward, please. Okay. Go toward the right edge of the screen. That's always the right way to go. <laughs> Didn't I do that joke last hey. time? This is Arpad Kovacs' workshop. That oh, is wow. correct. Look around for some sort of headset. Those would be Visiorama goggles. Ah oh, man, they even have like creepy glowing eyes on them, like the like the Incredibles too. I don't like this. I can see them here. Put them on, please. Uh Okay. Oh boy, that's Elijah Walton's car. The Walton Mobile. Oh, that's yes. cool. Get in the car and drive straight ahead. With the goggles on? Is that safe? Okay. Once you've arrived, I will take care of the rest. Okay. Great. Uh -huh. Okay, so he's going to the drive in. Well why why can't they do the anti jingle here? Frontier Drive In, you know, Vizio Rama. This town does have a special kind of charm. It means a lot to me. It was the last thing I saw from Arcadia before getting out. Hmm. All right. Okay, I'm here. Shall we do this, Trevor? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. 
cross your fingers, Trevor. We are counting on you. Please adjust your goggles. Okay. How are you feeling now, Trevor? Uh, should I be feeling any different? I don't know. Everything is still the same. <sighs> I don't think this worked at all, number six. You want me to stay in here? This is a waste of time. Ah, crap. So, what do we do now? You guys have a plan Z? Number six? Are you there? Um... What is going on? What on earth? This is so weird. Wait, so this is this what he's experiencing inside the goggles, I guess? Don't be a fool, Trevor. Distort your routine. Who said that? Trevor Hills, welcome to American Arcadia, Stage 10B, Sector 9. Your life has been broadcast live for 28 years, 6 months, and 2 days. But nobody gives two shits about it. Thank you. Hello, Clark. Hi, Trevor. Lucille. Hi. Hello, mannequin. Hello. <laughs> Hello, empty chair. How's Trevor, my man. Gus, you're not dead. Of course I'm not. I'm living on the edge now. Who would have thought, huh? By the way, you're going to the Spire party tonight? No, I still have some stuff to finish here. Trevor, man, would it kill you to do something interesting for the audience? <laughs> Once in a so while? to Ada. And validated. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Strengthen your control. I'm inside a video game? Space Cadet, are you ready to infiltrate the secret Spectrex fortress? No, I'm not into video games anymore. We need you to defeat the evil Spectrex army once and for all. Move forward! Hey, you know, Trevor, I hate to break it to you. You've been in a video Ever. game this whole time. Where do I go? There's no way to... Well done, Space Cadet. You'll rise in the ranks in no time. Okay. Okay. Cool beans. And how do I get up? Huh. Oh, of course. There we go. So I go down here. Boom. Spectrex. Ah! Okay. There we go. And how do I get up there? Oh, of course. I can just fall. Beware, Space Cadet! There's an evil Spectrex ship! Oh, oops. Okay. This is really weird. Oh, I can just fall and get there. Yeah. So how do I get up there? Okay. I gotta wait for it to come back and now... Boom. This is the easiest video game ever. 
Press the button to destroy the Spectrex Fortress once and for all. Well done. Okay. The Spectrex Dome, I mean Arcadia Fortress, I mean it's done once and for all. Oh, how do I get over there though? Okay. There we go. ECH your initials. Congratulations, Space Cadet TCH. The stellar defense is proud of you. Thank you for playing. Insert coin. Whoa. Ooh. Uh oh. Oh. Thought that was gonna crush me. Don't be a fool, Trevor. Suppress your fear. This is trippy. What in the world are those? What? Hello there, buddy. Any secrets you want to share? Not really. You got anything to show us? We're bored. Oh. I want to know more about you. Tell me about you. These represent the audience, I think. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. How do you feel about everything? I don't really want to know, but I need entertainment. Open up to us. We're eager to consume your life. Yeah, that's the audience for sure. my way move damn it you move jerk go down now shut up i have to go up and i have to go down you idiot move you're an idiot no you're an idiot would you please stop arguing we've been stuck here for hours okay well i'm not getting up that way cool beans What's down? Maybe I should have went up first. See, this happens to me a lot in games where I will be thinking that one way is obviously the correct way to go, and then I'll think, oh, what's the other way? Because, you know, I want to see everything that the game has to offer. I can't go any further up than this, by the way. So I want to see everything that, it, that the game has to offer. And so I go the path less traveled and I figure out that was the correct way to go the whole time. And then I miss out on whatever was on the wrong way. Yeah. First world problems. Hey, Trevor. Keep going, man. The exit's right there. Thank you, Trevor. It's, uh, taking quite a long time. Yep. How long have I been walking this way? Did the other Trevor send you? The exit's a little bit further, man. Okay. Cool. Just a few more steps and you're out, Trevor. Yep, thanks, Trevor. <laughs> yep. You're good. Wait, I'm moving left now. This isn't the right way. This really is going on a while. Come on. You still got a whole nother section of the of the anti jingle to go through. <laughs> this is really still going. Oh my gosh. I'll probably trim some of this out in the uh, in the edit that I make just because it's so long. But take my word for it. This is going on forever. One eternity later. Oh. I'm not going the right way. Did 
the other Trevor send you here, Trevor? Yeah, Trevor sent me here, Trevor. There must be a way out, Trevor. Yeah, Trevor, but which way? It's this way, Trevor. I think. Okay, let's actually go back the other way. No, 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 no. It's the other way around, Trevor. No, I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, that was that was pretty cool. Okay. We don't really care about you. We just want to judge you. <sighs> You're not good American Arcadia material, boy. Hmm. Fee, fi, fo, fum. I smell the scent of a subject on the run. Uh oh. Shiver with fear. Javert is near. You won't make it out of here. Javert. Is that like uh Your rhymes suck. Intentional or unintentional. I think Javert is a uh, homage to Javert from there are thousands just like you locked inside our human zoo. From Les Miserables. 10392 What? Beware. I can see you just right there. Yeah. I smell the scent of a subject on the run. There are thousands just like you locked inside our human zoo. Okay, I think you I have to scream. jump. You can shout, but you will never come here. 10392, you are mine now. I got you. So I'm gonna have to jump on the thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to jump on the board and then go back into hiding. And then jump on the board, go back to hiding. What? I smell the scent of a subject on the run. Okay. So we'll give it one hop. Locked inside our human zoo. We'll give it two hop. Javert will catch you no matter what. We'll give it three hop. You won't escape. You don't have the guts. You can scream. You can shout. But you will never ever. You won't get out of Arcadia. You hear me? I won't allow it! That doesn't even rhyme, you idiot! <laughs> well, it seems like his My fear is being taken away. Citizens, we have a new Edge Travel Grant winner! Which isn't actually a travel grant, but rather a relocation program. Trevor Hills! Any fans of Trevor Hills here? Of course not, because he has a boring life that nobody gives two shits about. He might find it hard to believe right now, but we really care about his well-being. Nah, actually we don't. So please, when you finish this obstacle course, there's an agreement I need you to sign. Then we'll brainwash you and let you go. Or maybe not. Who knows? That's the way we handle Arcadia's intricate lies. Oh look, it's Poinciana Drive, 1465. The most uninteresting house in Arcadia. Would you please leave me alone? What? Okay. Ooh, looks like he found out he's <gasps> inside a TV show. What is average Joe gonna do now? And most important, who cares? 
Shut up. You're a horrible person. <laughs> horrible, but interesting. Unlike you. You know, I'd rather be not horrible than interesting. What in the world? Okay. Okay. I gotta go back down through that other TV. Man, this is trippy. Trevor, the ratings are plummeting, and it's all your fault. Now yeah. Trevor is inside the Grand Hotel Cygnus, although he obviously can't afford it. I live in Arcadia. Why would I want to stay at a hotel? But you can't afford it anyway, can you? Was there a way of... Huh. How do I get... Up there or down there or whatever it is. Let's try going up here again. It looks like there's a door there too. Is there like a way down from here? It does not appear to be. There might be a way through into here somehow. Can I press that at all? No? it looks like that door um, goes up what in the world okay so there's a big black wire running this way and it continues this way Okay, wait a minute. So there's another wire that goes over to that door. But how do I... Oh! Yep, okay. Let's try to move this over there. I just saw, I saw the yellow paint on the floor and I just assumed I couldn't move it outside of the yellow area. Okay. There we go. So that opens up this one. And then that last button will go. Uh -huh. And another plan that fails. Good job. What is that now? Plan E, plan F. You're going to run out of letters at this rate. Shut up, Vivian. Or Trevor's figment of Vivian and his imagination. Oh good, this place again. Definitely on a clip show. Trevor, this is not good American Arcadia material. Says you. Where are you going, Trevor? Outside of American Arcadia? Because apparently I'm not good enough. Why would I want to stick Why around? Are you still trying when you know there is no way to escape from Arcadia? Mind your own damn business. Who do you think you are? Some sort of action hero? Oh my. You've been conditioned to recognize an acoustic pattern. You've been hearing it through us. Push the button, Trevor! You've been hearing it throughout your whole life. It provides an extreme sensation of well-being and comfort. You were born with it just like any other Arcadian citizen. 
So the only way to escape from Arcadia is by pressing a failsafe button. Y'all seeing this giant person in the background? A fail safe button. Okay. A fail safe button. Yeah, I get the point. But what kind of button was it? In a matter of seconds. Oh, is that Trevor? Is that a giant Trevor? Done, Trevor. Okay, who is this? I am Angela Guardiana. Wow, a guardian angel. Like Clarence, and it's a wonderful life. Now your aspiration must be freedom. Freedom like no other. In a Sunlight Chrome Rush 166M, the most perfect work of engineering ever designed, and your favorite car. <laughs> what? I'm on a rainbow road! Where are you guiding me, Angela Guardiana? You are going to escape from Arcadia. And how am I going to do that? With the help of Kovacs, of course. I am loving the Centaur cover of Don't Be a Fool. Look at you, Kovacs! You're huge, pal! What? Thanks, Thanks to my exquisite, exquisite cabbage, cabbage breakfast. breakfast. That was, uh, was uh, quite a trip, trip huh, Trevor? Trevor? Was. Are you sure the jingle won't affect me now? Of, of course. course. You're 100% jingle free. Jingle free. See, Trevor? Science always finds a way. Jeez, this is awesome. Finally, Finally man, you're, you're gonna, gonna make it. it. No, 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 Kovacs, don't say that. You'll jinx it again. Oh, oh no, I jinxed it. it. Oh, no, not again, man. Uh, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not, not feeling, feeling so well. well. I'm, I'm glitching. glitching. Oh, oh, no, I'm, I'm glitching. glitching. What happened? Trevor, what are you doing in here? This is the Limelight! The best disco club on the 15th floor of the Arcadia Spire. Oh, by yours truly, Vivian Walton. I don't want to be here. I'm not really into clubbing. Then leave. Now. Yeah, I would, but... <laughs> Can't stop dancing. I gotta admit, this rhythm is super groovy. Keep your hands off my CCTV system. You don't have the required rank to control and or manipulate Arcadia's devices. I'm just trying to get out of here. Leave me alone. Stop messing with the Arcadian-born citizens. <laughs> That's the pot calling the kettle black. My balls alone! <laughs> I made you say that! <laughs> what in the world? Well, it is a jingle in Knock it off, you pathetic, boring idiot! I'm going up! Yeah! This ends today, Vivian! You hear me? Our this is wild. ends today! I hate hate you. I hate you! The feeling is mutual. You are a mediocre, dull, uninteresting person. And you are ruining everything. You're damn right. I'm gonna ruin this city for good. You don't have the guts, Trevor. This ends today, Vivian. You hear me? Arcadia ends today! No, 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 no! Don't press it, Trevor, please! No! 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 I'm melting! I'm melting! Huh. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Hello? Yep. I can hear you. I don't know if Trevor can. Ah, 
Jesus, my head. Number six, is that you? Yes, it is me. How do you feel now, Trevor? Like I took the worst 30 minute nap of my life. Really? Wow. But I assume you are finally free of the jingle. Now, get out of the car and head towards... And what about, what about the others? What do you mean, the others? The other 23,413 Arcadian-born citizens. What about them? We will come back for them, but for now we must get you out. Sorry, but I'm not leaving. Not before I press that fail-safe button and take the Arcadia Dome down. Please thank Angela for everything. Oh, wow. Our little boy's grown up. I waited for hours, and there was no news from Trevor or number six. Nothing. I was thinking that our plan had gone down the drain for the fourth or fifth time. Worst activist group ever. But then, something happened. Something that nobody had taken into account that I was the only one following Trevor's track camera. What the f- You gotta be shitting me! <laughs> okay, uh, what do I- Thank you, thank you so much, thank you. It is indisputable that times are changing, and everything seems to be brand new these days. Brand new audiences with brand new interests that interact and communicate using brand new devices. At Walton Media, we believe American Arcadia needs to keep evolving and adapting. Many years ago, we expanded from free-to-air TV to a cable network. When the internet arrived, we grew from a television channel to a website. And now, smartphones are here. A new challenge. So, I present you the brand new American Arcadia Live app. Now you'll just be a click away from enjoying all the best American Arcadia content in your phone. You don't need to tune your TV or log into your computer anymore to enjoy a popular character crucial moment or that special event you've been waiting for for months. And don't worry about missing a thing. Because when anything interesting happens to your favorite characters, the AA Live app will notify you instantly. With its brand new real-time stream, you can vote live. You can comment live. You can be part of American Arcadia live. We are excited to bring all of the American Arcadia content to every user everywhere in the world at any time. Okay, you guys wanna know a release date? Well, AA Live is available to download right now, and it's completely free. Hmm. AA Live. I've always tried to be a model citizen. I'm a nice and polite person. I greet my neighbors. I'm a committed professional. I've never refused to work overtime when I've been asked to, not once. I pay my taxes religiously, even when they are quite high. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I've never hurt a fly. Never, ever committed a crime. Not even a minor traffic violation. I have never even littered, ever. And you have screwed up my life for good, you miserable pricks! You're gonna pay for this, Arcadia! <laughs> oh no. He's really going to the spire. There's something really weird happening here. And then, I started to connect the dots. How is it possible that until then, I was Trevor's only follower? And suddenly, now, he had more than a million viewers. 
there was only one person besides me who knew where Trevor was. Number six knew a lot of things about me, but what did I know of him? Something Nothing. didn't add up. So I decided to track him. How? Where are you now, you always resolute, no contractions, lying piece of shit? Let's find out. What? I, I have to be sure the area intersects. What? I don't know what I'm doing. What? He's in the state. Number six is in the city too? He's in the dome. This, this is the area. He's, Jesus. No, 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 no. Number six is inside Arcadia. God, I'm such an idiot. I have to get inside Arcadia and quick, but I need a special ride to bypass all access controls. And I know where they come from. Trevor, I'm coming. Stay safe and... Hi, Dios mío. 10392 is not the car. Surrender now or we'll be forced to use extreme measures. Extreme measures? You want to run me off the road again? Huh? <laughs> Let's see who pushes who now, you bastards! Take this! Are you crazy? You're gonna get us killed! Oh! Oh! Now I'm crazy? See how crazy no, 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 I'm gonna no, no, no. get! Is that crazy enough for you? Huh? Soar higher than ever before? Soar higher than ever before? Yeah! I'll soar higher than ever before! And that was my second crash of the weekend. But this one was broadcast publicly. Oh, it was, yeah. At least this time I crashed <laughs> on purpose. Well, not exactly, but you know what I mean. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this has taken such a turn. I'm still here. It ends today. Arcadia ends today. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I'm afraid I have to cut it short there. This is, uh, this is crazy. Well, I, for one, am extremely excited to see what happens next. Please subscribe if you want to see what happens next to Trevor and the Arcadia Spire, of all places. If you liked this video, please drop a like below, and, uh, please leave a comment Let me know how I'm doing. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of speechless right now at the way this was a trippy episode. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good day or night or morning or you know whatever. See you later.